you know, the whole online thing, I, I, I think I miscalculated because it, it came out a couple of years ago and a few people knew about it. And I think, right. well, these are like, you know, computery techno guys. So I, th I thought it was a fad. I thought it would blow over, like, you know, like the Macarena. You know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. I didn't learn the Macarena. It didn't hurt me. <laughs> Good analogy, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> but now everybody, their grandmothers in Iowa have their own yeah. website. To me, the chat room, I, it's like I have people in my family I have no time to chat with. Yeah. So suddenly, but strangers all over the world. And what, you, you have people who are busy. They don't talk to people in their own house. But suddenly across the world, you're, you know, you're three in the morning, you're talking to somebody because you have a, both have a question about Gillian Anderson. You know, so, right. I need to know. Wake up, Portugal. Do you know is she or, really or, from... Or the grandma in Iowa is naked while she's talking. I'll tell you that, too. Oh, don't need to know that. Yeah, yeah don't, don't need, need to know, know it. More. Don't, don't need, need to, to know, know it. But it's all a thing, you know. It's like you're in the middle of the line. You're talking, you're pretending to be somebody that you're not, talking to somebody who's pretending to be somebody they're not, and you're both discussing something neither of you know anything about. So right. I'm wasting my time, and I'm typing. You know. Now, let me add something. Now, you... Uh... Uh, I assume you're an expert now at shopping for baby stuff. I wrote the book, Jay. <laughs> I'm the guy who wrote the book. I, uh, <laughs> you learn. I mean, you know, uh, you, you learn things. Uh, I mean, a lot of things about education. I'll tell you, the first time, I had never been in any of the baby world. This is the first right. kid we had. And, like, you go into a store that have like, baby sections. This is not a place, like, a guy feels very comfortable going. Right, right. It's sort of like, the only time I'd ever been in a baby store, it's like, if we had to buy something for somebody, my wife would say, you think they like this? And I go... Sure. You know what I mean? That was it. Right. Yeah. Suddenly, one time I, had, I was by myself, and you're just walking around, and you feel, uh, you're embarrassed. It's like, for a guy, you feel like you're 12 years old, and you're like, you're looking at the porno section of a, you know, magazine. It's like, can I help you? Just looking. I'm all right. I'm not really, you know, <laughs> you're holding up a little, everything's very little dainty, you know? It's like, and you just feel odd, and then, like, something, a baseball, I was there half an hour, and I bought a baseball cap the size of an orange. That's all I had. They had, they very small. <laughs> there were two rules. Here's what I learned. In the world of baby clothes, there's yeah. two types. There's the miniature adult little, you know, where they try and pretend that the kid is not this high yeah, and make right. him look like a lawyer. You know, a little jacket, little pants. Little suit, yeah. <laughs> little, little ventriloquist dummies, you know. Yeah. Pants the size of a pair of pliers and, and... I love the baby pants that have pockets on them. Little pockets on the baby pants. Yeah, like, could... like a six-month-old going, where's my wallet? I had it. <laughs> I had it when I left the crib. I know that. Or they go the other way where they underline that it's a baby with, like, little bears and ducks. You have to have... It's yeah. like a federal regulation. Infant, <laughs> infant, children, uh, infant uh, clothing has to be flame retardant and have a picture of a bear or a duck. I don't know why. It's just, apparently it's like you need cute images because maybe a baby is not cute enough for some reason. You know what I mean? Like you see cute baby, cute. You never see, if you saw somebody that small without a bear or a duck, you wouldn't say, what's the matter with that person? You never go, look at that short person bent over drooling. <laughs> what's the matter with him? Wait a minute, he's got Winnie the Pooh on his shirt. He's a baby. That's okay. It's okay. You know, you know you know, I laughed out loud. That was uh, men being pre men get putting on weight during pregnancy. I don't know why that made me laugh. It's just you do. You, do, uh, you know, I, I gained almost more than my wife did during pregnancy because they don't tell you because women have cravings for food and then suddenly you know I feel like spaghetti. Okay, I'll make some spaghetti. You get upstairs, take it away. I don't want the spaghetti. So they go, well, somebody's got to eat the spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> But, and the sad part is nobody, you know, you don't get acknowledged. You know, when you're pregnant, as a woman, people come over, they want to touch your belly. Nobody's coming over to me. I go, look what I did. Look yeah. that. <laughs> Nobody's rubbing well, anything on my... Hey, yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I go, look at that. You think that's easy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, do you like being called... I know your son is almost two. Is it next Almost month? two, yeah. You like being dad, daddy, father? Now, here's something like? I didn't think... I, I, you know, people always talk about when you're parents, you talk about in your third person. You go... Daddy has to go now. It's like, you never say, I'm going to go. Daddy has to go. Right. And third person, to me, it's only people are talking third person. Like ball players, you know, Dennis Rodman feels Dennis Rodman's not playing well. You know what I mean? Right, right. Or, or, or if you were like a nutcase in a bad movie. You know what I mean? It's like, Johnny doesn't like to strangle puppies, but Johnny's confused. You know, <laughs> but Daddy's going to go. You just feel like I'm... <laughs> so so I, you talk to the kid as Daddy. You know, say, well, Daddy's going to do this. And then, then you realize, you start talking to your wife as... Uh, or we're talking through the kid. This is bad. Uh, tell mommy daddy has to go out. Well, you tell daddy that he has to change a diaper for it. Oh, tell mommy daddy really doesn't want to. You know, and, it's, <laughs> and then the next level is when the kid's not even around and you're doing it. You know, you just you yeah. home with my wife and I go, so daddy feels like a movie. What do you want to, you know, it's like. <laughs> and then the saddest thing, and this is about as low as it gets, I did it. I was alone in the house and I'm still doing it. Yeah. There was no, I was totally alone. I said, I think daddy's going to take a shower. To nobody. <laughs> I just felt like, so like Burl Ives and, you know, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Now, tell me about your TV baby. The TV baby. Yeah. The TV baby, very small. Being <laughs> No, but like... It's, we, we, you have to audition babies, and this is... You have to audition babies, and you get these really cute. We have, uh, and then you have to... We, 
we had a we had a joke in the first show with his baby belches. Right. So you have this is a very glamorous job. You have to decide which is the funniest and most appropriate baby belt. So I got a guy coming to my office playing tapes. These are the various baby belches I had. They have, because you can't. <laughs> it's like an agent for belching? Yeah, because babies will belch, but not when you need it. So you have to get an adult to pretend. So you know, we have this one, the Model 17J. Wow, oh, that's very nice. Number 14, boom, blah, blah, blah. And you know, I go, that's a little big. It sounded like a you know, 50 year old who just had a bologna sandwich too fast. You have a, a small, like an applesauce kind of baby burp. Well, I know you're nominated for an Emmy. That's coming up in a couple of weeks. Uh, you know, you do a great job in the show. I thought your final episode this past season was one of the funniest. Sure, sure. As I said, folks, the book is called uh, Babyhood. And you know, and it's a book you can recommend anybody. It's clean, it's funny, just very clever. Oh, thanks. Very clever inside the stuff. I wish I could have stolen some of these jokes. <laughs> very good. Paul, thank, thank you, you very, very much. Be right back with Thomas Bailey right after this. Paul.